Hello there, it's Diorama Don here. Um, it's a barn, okay, a wooden barn. Um, I've made a couple of barns in the past, over the last 18 months, and uh, this is just a, a slightly different design and a different way of doing it. So uh, all I've used is uh, lollipop sticks and cardboard. That's all there is to it. So um, very inexpensive to make, very easy to make, and um, I think the outcome was uh, reasonably reasonably good. So let's get on with the video and I'll show you how I went about making it. Okay, so I've uh, marked out the shape of the front of the barn that I want. Uh, I used two millimeter card because as usual, it's very easy to cut with a sharp knife, sharp craft knife and a ruler, but please do be very careful. Uh, so we've got the shape of the barn. Um, there's a, a, a big door here, um, window, door, window. Um, so I'll let you know what sizes I've made this. So uh, 10 inches or 25 and a half centimeters by, <laughs> uh, I think that's seven inches. I do believe it is seven inches. So something like 18 centimeters. Um, I've been making money from YouTube videos for about 10 months. And uh, I've just about got enough money now to buy myself a new tape because I think I really need one. Uh, and if you think I'm exaggerating, it's not that far from the truth. Uh, by the time I bought my cardboard, there's nothing left, <laughs> nothing left for me. Uh, anyway, enough of my problems. So what we need to do is clad it. We need to clad it. Um, I'm using these um, lollipop sticks, popsicle sticks, whatever you call them. The wide ones I, I find are the best like this. A pack like this cost me uh, less than a pack, about 80 pence uh, G, uh, UK money, um, about uh, $2, $3 um, US, uh, very inexpensive to buy. So what I do, we, we don't want them in straight lines, they, they, they need to be sort of like that not necessarily straight lines okay so i'll well i'll try to do this over the top of the camera but i'm <laughs> i hope you uh, don't mind the sight of blood i'll cut the end off like so so that's gotten rid of the that's gotten rid of the straight edge. We've got a nice uh, curvy, curvy line there. And then about a third of that length, somewhere there. Like that. And that's going to give me one of the uh, uprights for the, for the front there. Okay, well, if, if I show you what I mean, <laughs> now it gets dangerous. With this, oh, get off. Uh, what, yeah, with this, th that's obviously going to slot together like that. But it, it means that when you put them there, you can fix them slight with a slight gap just a very slight gap like that which is what you would probably find on an old barn so we can leave a, a slight gap and not too much so that you can see the cardboard underneath because uh, we don't want to see that but a, a bit of a gap like that is fine and at the bottom if you just hack the bottom off like that and put a, a chamfer on the bottom 
and then gnarl away with the knife that's going to show that it's uh, all uh, rot rotted wood at the bottom so that'll go there I'll level that off a bit uh, but because I'm going to show that it's rotted wood along the bottom I'll just take a nick out of the cardboard for about a quarter of an inch so that you you will see straight through to show that it's um, rotted wood okay so that's what I'll do all the well I'll cut this door out but I'll clad the front and this top bit and along here and um, I'll come back and we'll see what it looks like then. So I cut my lollipop sticks or popsicle sticks into strips as you can see and uh, put it all over the front. Um, I added three inch wide sides, uh, 150, no 75 mil um, on the sides and put the roof on, same width, three, uh, three inches. Uh, so at the moment I've used about a dozen lollipop sticks and about 10 pence worth of uh, cardboard so at the moment it isn't costing me any money at all um, I'll put a backing on here and then put some more um, uh, wooden wooden slats at the top there and then there'll be a double door and the same with this double door uh, a single door there and a window and then a false window at the top there so I'll carry on and do that the, the roof will be corrugated sheeting, so I'll, uh, well, I'll, when we come to that, I'll show you. Uh, but for the moment, I'll put the doors and windows in, and uh, we'll see how we go from there. Okay, so we've got our doors and windows in now. Um, this is just a false front on the front there. Um, a door set back on another separate piece of card behind the... Uh, bit that I cut out, a uh, window there and then with these doors it's just a piece of card and then I've scored it, sort of half cut it down there so that, that uh, makes it open and close like that. Okay so uh, now we've got all the wooden parts done and on a lot of the sides of uh, the wood I've just taken a um, chamfer off off the sides just to make it look a bit more more uh, realistic more lifelike so on a few of the sides especially there look you can see uh, okay so finished the sides off as well so the roof um, I've got some of this um, corrugated card um, I, I don't know if you can get hold of this easily but um, my stationers do all kinds of different colors um, so I cut a strip off and sprayed it with uh, silver. So uh, I shall cut this into sections, uh, probably two sections wide and about three sections uh, going up that way, starting off at the bottom, another section, another section, and covering the whole area. And then um, make it look rusty I shall do that with the red oxide uh, spray and also burnt umber um, paint. So um, I'll put these on anyway and uh, see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a moment, see what it looks like when we've got a roof on. So I cut my corrugated sheet up and uh, put them on in uh, six sections there and uh, six, six. So I gave it just a very, very light spray of um, red oxide just to give it a, a little bit of um, uh, rusty, rustiness looking. Um, I'll do a bit more. I've got some overspray actually on my wood. Uh, but all I could, well, basically that's it. <laughs> um, if, if you wanted a, um, a wooden barn, then... Uh, Please follow instructions and uh, and there you are. Just lollipop sticks and uh, cardboard. Uh, cost absolutely no money at all. Um, I shall go ahead and finish it now. And if you're a regular viewer to my channel, you know, 
you know I'm not the greatest of painters uh, so um, I'll do my best make it look um, old and weathered and and what have you so I'll come back and show you but uh, basically that's uh, that's what the uh, the whole point of the video is um, I, I shall put it on a diorama as well there'll be a bit of like uh, muddy terrain in front with some kind of vehicle but I'll go ahead and, and finish it off now and um, come back in a moment and we'll see what kind of mess I've made of it okay so finished painting the barn um, I wanted it to be uh, a lot greyer than it is uh, but to achieve that I needed black and white paint mixed together unfortunately I didn't have any white paint so I've had to do it with what I've got uh, but I think it worked out reasonably well it it, it isn't the the optimum finish that I would like but uh, given <laughs> given what I've got to work with um, I think it worked out okay and we've got a bit of a glass there in the window uh, the um, corrugated roof tin roof um, I sprayed silver as you know then went over with some uh, just a, a faint spray of red oxide and I only use those uh, car touch-up spray paints uh, and then using what have we got uh, no not that one uh, burnt sienna I just uh, dry brushed a little bit over the top with it that's that's all I've done just to give it a, a bit of a, a rusted look uh, but you could spend hours making it look a lot better all I'm sa all I'm saying is that's as much as uh, I need to do okay so that's the barn finished um, I've made a bit of a diorama base for it so I'll set it in the farmyard uh, the wall I made in the previous video the carts I've made in previous videos the barrels and the oil drums all made in previous videos if you're interested then uh, please have a look uh, but there we are one uh, let's go up a little bit oh wait a minute don't go away that's better now you can see oh so one uh, wooden barn I have made barns in the past um, but not like this so this is a, a slightly different way of doing things um, and I think it looks okay um, could spend a little bit more time on it I appreciate uh, but uh, for the purposes of this video then uh, I think this is fine so again thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to the channel click the thumbs up click the notification bell and, and something I haven't I don't even know how you do it <laughs> but click the share button people keep saying that on these videos I've no idea what it is <laughs> so uh, if you want to click the share button by all means but I don't know what it is <laughs> just shows you how ignorant I am of these things uh, I've initiated the um, thanks button so uh, but that's entirely up to you as always so Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And uh, until then, I wish you the very best, as always, of happy modelling. <laughs>